Let's make no mistake. Uh, these works are about the pandemic. And I think if you allow me to attempt to explain how and why that is, then you may come away with a little bit more of an understanding about how I work. So my focus is on process over result. And with photography, each, each exposure then becomes uh, like running an algorithm over and over again. And each exposure, the, the web or the pattern becomes momentarily illuminated before receding uh, back into darkness. Um, I work in spurts and I have long pauses in between, sometimes of even a year or, or two between. But things change and just by virtue of the time that's elapsed, uh, things have shifted. So then it becomes my role to um, feel out these shifts, navigate them, try to find equilibrium again. In my last major series um, called Searchlight, I shot lights kind of um, uh, streaming across uh, ocean landscapes. And then after that, I made a smaller series called First Light, where instead I focused down on the reflection of the moon um, as it danced on the surface of the sea. The waves, the wind, the weather, um, even uh, distant ocean swells, and, uh, and the shape of the surrounding shore and distant islands, all, all these things left their trace on the way that the water moved and hence the way that the reflection moved and hence the, the shape of the cluster. So at the time, uh, my wife Michelle and I were waiting for the birth of our first child and something in this process and something in the resulting uh, little clusters of light uh, resonated with me. In this series, I return to uh, the same spot uh, with the same process, but something had changed. Um, focusing on the kind of serene surface of the ocean didn't really feel right anymore. So something had to change, and for this I, I broke one of my oldest rules, which was uh, never to intervene in a scene I was shooting. So I, I threw a stone, and and the lines just went crazy and that somehow worked so I ran with it. I tried uh, disturbing this resting state in different ways with um, stones and poles and, and dripping water, pouring water. I tried different bodies of water from, from the sea to ponds and uh, reservoirs. I tried different angles of the moon, I tried artificial light, I tried mixing in uh, light from the early dawn and then I tried constructing uh, these two apparatus which suspended planks of wood at the water surface and they could bounce ripples off them and they could also be used to, to, to make their own movement in the water and, and uh, that did work. So I, I, I just experimented and I pushed and I shot thousands of images and from that I edited it down to, to these ten. It was um, more drawn out and, and uh, intentional. I had more time to, to dwell on what I was doing and to rethink it and, and then to refine what I was doing. Um, for the first um, seven months of, of lockdown, we were um, on an island and we were rooted to one spot, which I hadn't done in a very long time. And so my focus turned to, to a longer time scale. I think, like many of us, we, I started um, counting time in months. And because I was shooting Moonlight, I had to time my, 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 my shooting to, to the, uh, the phases of the moon uh, because I needed a lot of light from the moon, so it had to be full or almost full. So while my focus was on the disruption within the frame, it, it was also um, on the kind of ever-present equilibrium which drew the disturbance into, uh, into balance. And after every upheaval, there was some kind of comfort in, in uh, seeing the laws of nature return uh, the surface of the water to, to stillness.